Previously, I showed you how to install RealLink NVR and all of its PoE IP camera that goes along with the kit. Most of the time, people just plug the camera using the CAT5 or CAT6 cable straight into the back of the PoE switch that's built into the NVR, and that's perfectly fine. But sometimes it's impossible to run all of the cameras into this one box. So today we're going to look at PoE switch. This PoE switch from RealLink is pretty sweet. It allows you to connect all eight cameras and then this two uplink. These two uplink you can plug straight to the NVR or to the router itself or to another PoE switch if that's what you have to do. So here's a quick look at this example. You can see that there's eight cameras going into the back of the NVR. The NVR is connected to the router. Here's a PoE switch. Only two cameras is connected to the PoE switch and we're using one of the uplink from the PoE switch to the router. NVR by its definition is network video recorder. So as soon as it's plugged into your network, it will record whatever video that's available on the network. Here's another example. You can see that I have a bunch of cameras installed connected to the NVR in the back of the NVR. And this NVR is connected to the router. And we have two separate cameras that's connected straight to the router as well. So of course the NVR will see these cameras six and seven without any issue. This router here does not have PoE switch. So it does not provide any power to this camera at all. In order to provide the power to these two cameras, you just need 12 volt DC power plug. And that plugs straight into the camera at that location. Here's a look at a real world application of this real link PoE switch. Here you can see there's eight cameras connected to the switch. The reason why I did this was because this thing is in the basement and I didn't want to run all eight cameras, all of the wires, all the lines straight up to the second floor. And then I use this blue cable for the uplink. So all I have to do is run one cable straight to the second floor. That cuts down a lot of labor. This PoE switch requires a lot of power. So here you can see a huge power brick. On the second floor, you can see that there's some cameras going into the NVR as well. And here's that blue line coming from the basement itself. Just one core. The NVR will see all of the eight cameras from the basement because the switch is now plugged in. As for this cable right here, if you want to view the NVR on your mobile app or anywhere in the world, you have to plug this cable into your router to get it online. All right, hopefully this video helps you with PoE IP cameras installation using PoE Switch. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.